Hey everybody, I'm Dave. I'm Steven. We are here to help you up your drink making game. Why do we do that, Steven? We are a couple of guys, Dave, who enjoy making drinks for our wives. We've learned to do it better than we were in the past, and we're here to help you up your mixology game. What are we making tonight, Dave? Well, Steven, I'm glad you asked, because we're going to make the Tequila Sunrise. And uh, just as a side note, uh, I was never really big on the whole uh, foo foo drinks. Uh, but I took a trip to Mexico recently, and uh, as we spent time around the pool and on the beach, uh, that's pretty much all they served. So it was, uh, I, I kind of enjoyed uh, the uh, fufu drinks, and it's fortuitous that we're making the Tequila Sunrise tonight because I actually had a Tequila Sunrise or two while I was in Mexico. Well, hopefully we get this right, and it reminds you of your wonderful vacation. Well, I think, uh, I think it's probably, uh, we're on a, on a good path to do that. Excellent. How do we start? Well, uh, we start with three parts of tequila, and in this case, three parts would be three ounces. What are you pouring that into, Stephen? I'm pouring it into a jigger. This particular one is one ounce on the large side, and... That would make it a half ounce on the small side, it, it would, it would, yes. That's just a guess on my part. Yeah, I've heard some commentary from the uh, gallery. I'm not sure what's going on over there. I think it's a debate on whether the proper pronunciation of the part of Mexico we were in is, uh, is it uh, Caribbean or Caribbean? Uh, we were on the Caribbean coast of Mexico on our vacation. Uh, how do you say it, Stephen? I say Caribbean, but I don't know if I'm right. Well, uh, you know, as, as luck would have it, I checked with you know who, and uh, you know who said that it was, uh, uh, it could be either way. Okay, so excellent. She was no Tequila help. is served. Oh, very nice. Well, next we want uh, six parts of orange juice. Okay. Six parts. Uh, six parts of orange juice. I think I will uh, go with a... A measuring oh, cup. That's very, that's very, that's very good thinking. It'll save a little bit of time instead of using the the small and uh, difficult to manipulate jigger. Yes, and probably save somewhat of a mess. Well, I think uh, a mess is okay as in, on some uh, occasions, don't you think? It is. You got to clear it up pretty quick. But you might remember that uh, from a few moments ago that six parts of uh, orange juice is actually six ounces of orange juice. Yes, in this case, yes, it is, and that's per glass, because we are making these one drink for each of our wives. It's not necessarily always uh, a part to an ounce, right? I mean, if you six parts could be any. Could be six gallons if you're making it for, for a, a party. Party, right? Uh, that can't be all. Uh, no, What what what's the last step? Oh, well, uh, it, it uh, uh, what we do is uh, we're going to pour it into a Collins glass, in this case, which we did. You can also use a Hurricane glass if you so choose. Uh, we, we went with the Collins on this uh, particular drink. Uh, we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to pour a little grenadine uh, into the glass. Any technique to that? Uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defer to you on the technique, Stephen, because you are the expert. What you're going to do is you're going to pour it over the back of a spoon, just a splash. When you do that, it'll sink down the side. Are you touching the glass uh, with the spoon? With the spoon, yes. The spoon, nice. spoon is against the inside of the glass, and I'm pouring the grenadine in. And it creates a beautiful ombre. Oh, very nice. Here, which gives it the name of the, 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 the sunrise. The sunrise. I thought ombre was like uh, my pal. Is that not true? <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I nice job. Know. How are we going to garnish these? Well, I think we're going to garnish them with a little bit of Marciano cherry and perhaps an orange peel. Or slice. <laughs> Sounds delicious. No, oh, it looks delicious. <laughs> This shit's not easy, folks. <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> Hold on. I'm almost there. <laughs> and there we have it, Steve. Right. Thank you. Now, Nicely beautiful done. drink. Does it look like what you drank in <coughs> It, it looks Mexico? very similar, although I didn't watch it being made. I'm pretty sure we did a much better job than, than they did uh, there at the poolside. Oh, made with more love, I'm sure. Well... That goes without saying, Stephen. Yes. <laughs> All right, so why don't we serve our wives? I think we should. Hey, thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're, uh, uh, we're always open to suggestions, and perhaps uh, we will revisit this uh, Tequila Sunrise again sometime in the future. Remember, don't drink with Stephen. And do not drive like David. See you next time. <laughs>